oh look we're back to the usual spot um hello welcome back how are we all i hope you are all well how has that become my catchphrase i don't know but you know i'm just interested i hope you're all having a good day um this is the final vlog the final vlog of the daily edit um it's currently thursday when i'm recording this and it's going to be going live on friday so it's very much fresh and squeezed i'm having a very clumsy day today maybe i should put that in my uh, period tracker app tomorrow's video is going to be a march favorites for you and then the video after that is going to be like a spring capture wardrobe uh, planning video um so this is the final vlog and i thought i would vlog today because i'm not just sitting around at home uh in my pajamas not doing nothing but you know just having a, a kind of homey boring day although quite a few of you are kind you quite like those ones um cheers for that uh, but today i'm leaving the house i'm actually going up to london now and i'm staying over there's an event with kills tonight um i currently am working with kills this is not part of the job i don't have to go to this event i don't have to stay over but they invited me and i thought yeah that actually sounds quite nice and i think it's for their new cbd oil i think so i think it's quite a big launch and uh, lots of my pals are going to be there nadine's going to be there emma guns is going to be there but before that i'm going round to lily's and we're we're doing a little something something um, sorry to be like cock teasy top secret. Um, it's not really top secret. I'm sure you guys can probably guess what we're doing, but we're just testing out something, giving something new a go. Uh, so we're gonna test that out today so that hopefully by the time Lily gets back after having a baby, uh, things will be sort of ready to go with it. We're just like putting a few things in place now. So um, I'm gonna go do that. We're going to Lily's house to do that. And um, then, yeah, I'm staying over in a fancy schmancy hotel. I think it's in Shoreditch. And I couldn't bear the thought of taking a suitcase with me. So I've thrown it all in to my Saint Laurent tote bag. And I don't, I don't quite know how. It includes, like, makeup, pyjamas, a fresh outfit for tonight. Um, kind of all sorts of bits. I might show you when I get there, like, what I've included in the bag. Because, uh, yeah, it literally is... Mary Poppins style. I am wearing the most casual of outfits right now. Um, I thought I'd wear my leggings up to London. Haven't done that before, but I know I'm gonna see Lily and she's gonna be wearing something so, so, so comfortable. And then I'll be jealous if I'm wearing like really rigid jeans. Um, so I'm wearing a very comfy, casual outfit because I'm literally just traveling around all day today sitting on a train negotiating the underground uh so i thought i would just wear something comfy and then i can wear it home in the morning as well i'm probably going to be leaving quite early to come home because our mates are coming to stay for the weekend anna and mark's airbnb is is booked out uh so yeah i'll be trying to get back pretty early tomorrow so that i can sort out the flat for that and get a decent day's working before we get everything ready and then um, they come down and i'm so excited there are like super foodie friends um our friends who we went to madrid with and so they're like where should we go for dinner and um, so we've got dinner booked out for the whole weekend and we're doing chin chin one night i love chin chin if you come to brighton and hope that's my like recommendation go to a chin chin it is just the best italian like incredible service really reasonably priced um yeah mark and i go there whenever it's like an anniversary or a birthday or something and then we're going to bincho yakitori which i think is like japanese tapasi type food and um, we've been there before and it's just so so good like we're literally going to be eating at midnight because uh it's just so busy and we left getting a reservation till so late um but we're like yeah we'll we'll take it it's it's totally worth it um so yeah i'm really looking forward to that it should be a good weekend if you're interested to know how i did my hair then i have a like hair tutorial that's ridiculously easy to follow i'll pop it up there for you um it's looking kind of fluffy i'm just going to pop some more bait in and then uh yeah better get going because my train is in half an hour <laughs> um we have just the, the worst snacks like <laughs> cookies i did i'm not gonna lie Lily, i did eat some of them on the train okay quite a lot of them colin the caterpillars and then look what lily's put on what a spread so these are like healthy quinoa ones. Yeah. Oh, I like those ones. But they're the sour and cream chive, whatever. Yeah. Tried those. And then these are the sensation 
chili. I've never tried them, but everyone loves them. Sweet chili? Yeah. What? I know. Really, they've been out for like 10 years. Yeah, there's always other crisps I prefer. This is why I call I call our manager Sweet Chili Millie because these are her favourite crisps. <laughs> this is what made me want to try Walker's them. Walker's Thai Sweet Chili mm. Sensations. Oh, God. They're good. But they're not like Monster Munch Flaming Hot. Come on. <laughs> on Twitter, it went viral the other day in the UK, this pyramid of crisp greatness. And weren't Pringles at the top? And everyone got really upset. I think they've done this before, but it's like come back again. Yeah, mm. Pringles, there were some really boring ones up Chip the top. Chipsticks were really low, and I love a chip Also, they were all the wrong flavours. Like Hula Hoops were in there, but like the red ones and then. Oh, it's like... all about beef. Yeah. Yeah. They kept putting like the boring flavours. Am I allowed to show you a buggy, even though you've got it? <laughs> it's just a buggy. It's not like it's a season. No, you can show Am I sharing like knowledge? It's just a buggy. <laughs> Honestly, one time at one of the book events, I was like, oh, Lily's baby's due that day. And one lady just said in the audience, she just said, Lily hasn't shared her due date online. I was like, hey, luckily it was the wrong day. So it doesn't fine. matter. Due date. Rich, thinks, Rich thinks a due date is a due date. I'm like, it doesn't mean anything. You never, well, who knows when she's going to come. This is Lily's buggy, and as I used to work in a mother care, this is basically my dream. As someone who used to work in a baby shop, all I want to do. Wait, do you know what you are going to get? You're going to get loads of comments of people giving their opinions on whether I got the right buggy or not. Oh my God. Lily doesn't want to hear it. She's got this buggy now. <laughs> oh, Anna, oh it really God. suits you. Now, you you did help me with the colour. Remember that text I message? <laughs> I know. I, I love bugaboo, and I think if I was having a baby, I'd pick a bugaboo too. And, <laughs> From working in mother care, I know that there are cheaper options, they're just as good. Mm. But there's something like it it just looks so good. Come on, you with your first, you've gotta like make all the mistakes and go all out and You're having McLaren in like <laughs> eight months, but it's cool. It's totally worth it for those. Oh, I need to show you like off camera like how it works. I've so I've had so much fun practicing. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> yeah. That's where my new best friend's gonna be. People like Anna. I know. Like, that's where she's gonna be. Oh, you okay in there? How are you doing? Oh. Lily said she's upset. She's worried about my vlog because she, you know, she watches them at like one minute past six. I'm your so. biggest fan, and I was like, this vlog's not gonna be good. She hasn't vlogged. I haven't vlogged enough. Um, so let's vlog me unpacking my bag. I don't know why. Are you unpacking? You're leaving. <laughs> I was so worried about having a rolly suitcase in here. I was like, oh, I don't want to have a rolly suitcase in here. She's very stressful. So then I made myself the world's heaviest bag that has, I thought, felt like my arm was going to fall off. Oh, yeah, um, so I was going to kind of decant, my favourite word that I use, yeah, really yeah. love, um, some bits into my little, I really got me this. Oh my god, so you. It's so one of the handiest things I've ever been given. It's amazing. And we did our thing. I think it went well. It was so good. It was really fun. Really, really super fun. And now Lily is cooking, but... Not for me, rude. I'm making dinner for friends. I am making chicken thighs and onions and cherry tomatoes and garlic, all shoved in the oven for like half an hour. Sweet potatoes. This is like easy, like, still feels like you're cooking, but it's really easy for you. Why don't you do a cook with any video? I love watching cooking videos. I feel like I'm not good enough at cooking. Make cooking videos. Like, whenever I make them, my like, brother in law texts me, he's like, lol, how are you cutting the onions or something? <laughs> so, you tell me, um, you get me into, well, I've, I've run out of um, soup cereal. <gasps> and now I need to buy some new soup cereal. I'm all out. I started eating right it just by the <laughs> I would just put the soup cereal in my hand and like, knock it back. Oh dear. Um, so now I'm going to trace across London. Wearing my very casual outfit that I'm really pleased that I wore. Leggings. Jumper, although it was absolutely boiling. Yeah, oh my god, when we were doing our thing, <laughs> we were doing, doing our thing. We were in the sun, like dying. Look at this. I think I'm even more like comfy and casual than you. Is this your new way of vlogging without the screen up? Because I don't understand how you can see what you're doing. No, it's held on by blue tack. It's stressing me out. Like, what's so my head to just cut if off? I, if like? I put it up, it's just gonna slowly move back and like fall off. Oh, and now I need a new camera. I need to. I need to fix this. I need to fix this. Yeah, it's been fun. Fun. What are you wearing tonight? Um, my realization par like leopard print skirt with a t-shirt with my bands oh, and my leather jacket. I was like, what would Lucy Williams do? That sounds really cool. Soon. Soon. I'm wearing, I'm wearing dungarees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come and spend the day with Lily like pre-baby, unless she makes a really early appearance. And we're just gonna have like a chill day. Yeah, and actually, can that also be the day where I maybe start getting some of my summer clothes out? Because I'm oh, suddenly yeah. worried that. 
I'm gonna have a baby, it's gonna be summer, and I'll be like, I packed them all away. We can do that, uh, and then we can like go for a little walk or something, and then we can have a nap. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Dream day. I've just arrived. It's the Curtain Hotel in Shoreditch. I've never been here before. I have a feeling it must be new because everything looks very, very swanky. I'll give you a quick little room tour. Always love a room tour. So I've walked in and there's some cocktail paraphernalia there. Mm, chocolate truffle, lovely. Bathroom. <gasps> so swanky. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. Oh my word, guys. That is so nice. I'm here with Kiehl's. Oh, this is the new product. Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Herbal Concentrate for Blemish Prone Skin. Ooh, it smells really good in here. I wonder if they've sprayed anything. And then here, just like the biggest bed you've ever seen. Oh, we've got so oh maybe it's this that smells. Oh, it smells lovely. Oh, my name. Guys, you're too kind. Super cute. Um, yeah, now I should really get ready. I was just reading the press release for this new product and it says visibly reduces skin redness. Yes, please. Also, it had like how to incorporate it into your routine. And I would say I'm this, routine for sensitive skin. Um, and it's the Centella cleanser. I already use that and love it. Then this new oil and then the Centella balm over the top. And I love that too. I will report back. I'll test it and I'll let you know. I was gonna do a little get ready with me number, but all I did was put bronzer on. Also put, this is the um, Chanel Tan de Soleil over my eyes. I watched Essay's video the other day and she did it and I was like, mm, that looks really nice. So just did that, probably won't last very long because it's cream and I haven't set it or used a primer, but it only needs to stay on for a couple of hours. It's cool, I can just smush it back in and put my brows into place with the hourglass gel. I'll write all of this down below for you and put a bit of MAC Yash on my lips, put some mascara on, done, just like gave the hair a zhuzh. And then I will show you my outfit. There is a full length mirror, but I'm not sure you're going to be able to see. It's this very cool mirror effect, um, but I've basically got, <laughs> you can't really see, a white t shirt, Daisy Jewelry and Estee like T bar necklace. I got my Under the Stories leather jacket, realization par skirt and then I thought I'd just wear my Vans because I just couldn't really be bothered to like bring another shoe option with me so this looks alright, I've got my little like yellow bag kind of casual, casual not casual, a bit of both <laughs> I'm gonna make this outro as quick as possible because there is a new Bon Appetit Brad It's Alive YouTube video, which is like my second type of favorite YouTube video. My first favorite is another Bon Appetit uh, genre of video and it's the Claire Sappitz uh, Gourmet Makes, where she like makes things like a Kit Kat uh, from scratch and she's just amazing, like Brad and Claire forever. I absolutely love them. I will link those videos down below because if you haven't watched them, welcome to the rabbit hole, see you in a couple of days. And that was a really nice evening, I made some new friends. I'd never met Sarah before, she's lovely. Carly, I know, she's lovely. And um, Nadine Baggett and Emma Guns was there as well, love those ladies. Um, oh, my tea reading um, was a bit strange, she said she saw animals, she said she saw a squirrel, don't don't know what that's regarding. Um, she was like, oh, and you have two siblings. I was like, nope, def definitely just have one. And she was like, oh, that was that was strange. Um, what else did she say? She said, um, the first thing she said was she was like, I see victory in your life, like whatever you're striving towards, it's like, it's happening. I see victory, that's good. She's like, I see you're quite like a happy person. Um, that was cool. She just said I had some sadness, I was like, I don't, I don't feel too sad and then she said I'm crying like there's been a lot of crying I was like um no I haven't I haven't cried have I cried I mean I did cry watching Queer Eye the other day I watched episode three the episode that Lily wants to be made into a movie and, and it was it was really good and I did cry at that maybe it was that very strange um but yeah now I'm gonna take my makeup off and watch some YouTube on my phone and um eat some of the mini bowl. I hope you enjoyed the final vlog 
of the daily edit. Two more videos to go, March favourites and a spring capture wardrobe planning video. So keep your eyes peeled for then. It's not over yet, even though you're sick of me. <laughs> Still got another two days. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then. Bye. Oh, I used the Isle of Paradise um, new like clear tanning mousse um, in the shade light. And I have to say, two days, look at that. Quite impressed, bit of tan going on. Good work, Jules.